What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48. Welcome back to my 7 Days Dice single player Let's Play. This is episode 48, and um, I've just been mining all night. Um, it is now day 49. Um, unfortunately, when I stopped when I stopped uh, playing last time, I mined through the night, and I stopped the game at about 1 a.m. on day 49. I don't know what I was thinking. I just had a brain fart there, and I kind of screwed up. Um, we're just gonna go along and hopefully the horde will come during the day. Um, according to Scott, uh, my world's screwed anyway. There's no way the hordes are gonna come at the proper time unless I mess around the XML file. Um, I decided I don't want to mess around the XML file just because I'm a little bit nervous that it might ruin my game. Um, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go home and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get the horde at the proper time. Um, what did I want to say? Um, XML files, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just play the game all the way through day 50 uh you know and i'm i'll like cut out the boring parts but i'm going to uh, not not close down the game in hopes that maybe my hordes will come at the proper time um you know what can i what can i say i just i don't know what i was i wasn't thinking and uh oh. i definitely should not have logged off at that point uh so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna do the day the day uh oh yeah i don't need room for that Whatever, I don't need that piece of iron. Um, what would be, this is day 49, so the next day will be 56. So what I'm going to do is, next time on day 56, I will play through the entire day of 56. From, you know, midnight all the way through till the next day. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I don't know what, I, what the hell I was thinking there. I talked about, like, how I was going to do this. How I was going to play directly through the Horde day. So, hopefully that'll uh, that'll help, you know, the zombies come at the right time. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, the zombies keep coming early. And um, some people were telling me that the reason they're coming early is because I'm uh, shutting the game down on Horde day. Uh, for those of you who are really new to this series, um, Horde day is every seven days. And um, it starts out at uh, 2200 hours on the seventh day. 7, 14, 21, 28, and so on. Um, and it's basically just like a super horde. Like, uh, cops, ferals, special zombies just, just coming at you. They always know where you are, and they're just like, it's like hardcore night, you know? Um, and like, but if you log off on the day of the seven day horde, uh, supposedly it messes up your, your, your horde and your horde comes early. Um, now a lot of us don't care if the horde comes early, you know, it's like, okay, so it makes it a little easier. Cool. But, you know, for the sake of the let's play, you know, people want to see, you know, how good my base will hold up against a proper horde. Um, I feel like the horde was still pretty proper, um, but th there's no getting away from the fact that they were definitely coming in slow for the first, you know, half of the horde, and that definitely does make things easier to deal with. S so, um, I'm just trying to play through the whole, the entire entirety of day 49 without shutting down the game in hopes that my horde will come at the proper time. As long as they're running, that's all I care about, because then that'll make all the people happy. Um... Yeah, but then uh, Scott was telling me that my game will be screwed up no matter what. Uh, there's nothing I could do about it short of starting a new game, or I could do his XML file fix. Um, he he changed like one piece of he changed like one line in the XML code uh, that should fix the, the seven day horror thing. The only problem is uh, I'm very you know I'm very nervous about changing anything in the game anymore after what happened to the uh, uh, to the Minecraft people, and I know like the Minecraft people like this isn't what happened to them. I understand that, but. Um, Hold on, just trying to get out of here without getting spotted by a screamer. Uh, yeah, I know what I know what happened to Minecraft people is something totally different. I understand, but I'm just you know I'm just a little nervous about it. Uh, I'm going to talk to Pam about it today. Uh, Scott hates it when I talk to Pam. Um, I know Pam is not the end all be all for Seven Days to Die, but she's the person I talk to. That she I've been I've been working with her for well over a year year and a half now. So you know I we built up a lot of trust together. So I'm going to talk to her about the XML fix. It's not that it's not that I don't trust you, Scott. Um, you know, hey man, the, you know the XML fix could work perfectly fine in your game and still screw up my game. It's not guaranteed. Guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed with this game right now. You know, it's um, it's kind of all over the place, and nobody really knows what's going on 100%. So um, yeah. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to take some time. We're gonna get ready for the seven day horde. Uh, I'm gonna do everything I can do to get ready for the seven day uh, horde, which will be ammo. Actually, it'll be mostly ammo. Uh, I have some uh, really good shotgun parts here. I think I'm going to be able to have a purple shotgun. Did I have a purple shotgun last time? I don't I don't really know. I think I might have, actually. But we're going to have a purple shotgun. Um, oh, we got to get that deer. Yeah, let's get that deer. For sure. 
Alrighty then. Got him. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get ready for the seven-day horde. I'm gonna be ready for the seven-day horde well before nighttime. So what I'm gonna do once I'm ready for the seven-day horde, I'm gonna go do some farming. I'm gonna get some clay. I'm gonna cut down some trees. Um, because those are the things I need to do. Is there anything I can get rid of for that stuff that's on the ground? Yeah, I can get rid of these ramps. Uh, large bones. I want to make glue. I want to get a, I want to get a lot of um duct tape so I can start making landmines. Landmines would be so cool. We may be able to do that today. Nah, better not. Better well, maybe, maybe we'll see. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Landmines would be pretty freaking cool. People may ask me to make landmines for a while. Um, landmines are not anything special, to be honest. Um, they don't do as, as much damage to the zombies as you might think. Um, and like you know, one landmine goes off, and that's it for that landmine. And they take one duct tape. Actually, maybe even more. Yeah, they only take one duct tape, so that's good. But, I mean, still, you know, one duct tape's one duct tape, so we got to be careful with our landmines. <laughs> but that's why I got the bones, because we can take the bones and um, cook them down into glue. Although we need water for that. That's another thing we have to do today. We need to go get water, for sure. That's a, that's a big thing, actually. I've been meaning to get water for so long, and I haven't been. All right, see, we need a... I'm going to use coal for this, I think. Let's see how much coal we have. Uh, you've got a little, we've got a pretty good amount of coal here. Let's put this gunpowder up there. And let's take care of this. All right, we've done about as much as we could do down here for now. Um, what we need is wood. Um, you actually need quite a bit of gunpowder for guns. So, I don't think I want to be throwing my coal away cooking stuff. I, at first, I was like, yeah, let's just use coal. Now, eh, not so much. Um, so, we're waiting for a bunch of stuff to craft here. So, we're just going to go out and uh, get some get some wood. And uh, we're going to bring our chainsaw with us. We put together the chainsaw. We're also going to take our auger. Now, our auger and our chainsaw aren't completely put together. But, um, it's okay because uh, we could just, like, switch out the parts. So, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. So, let's come on over here and just quickly... Just, let's use, just use a drop-off chest for now. Just to drop off all the crap we're not going to need. Going to need that. We're going to start making gasoline, by the way. Um, yeah, let's put that in here. There we go. It's too long. That's better. Okay. Got a lot of gravel. Alright, let's get going. We do have screamers right above our head, but because our... Because they're, they're spawning over the forges, we can get out. No problem. Um, by the way, I'm also uh, cooking up some stuff here. Actually, that's enough. Whatever, you're good. The biofuel sucked because... You can only really make 60 uh, biofuel, and then, like, it just, it, it doesn't have anywhere else to put the biofuel, so it stops cooking it. So I kind of screwed myself out of quite a bit of, uh, of fuel there, because I didn't really know that. Okay. Okay. Looking good, looking good. All right, let's find some coal or some clay. I think I'm gonna come over here and get this clay, and I'm gonna cut the trees around around Cage's Keep. We hopefully day 49 will be the last time we use Cage's Keep, but it's not written in stone. So um, I'm gonna continue cutting down the trees around Cage's Keep in hopes that it'll help with the uh, with the frame rate issues. Um, some other people are saying that, uh, I've been reading on the forums quite a bit, that if you guys are having stuttering with this game, and you have a, an SSD, a solid state, a solid state hard drive, um, go ahead and put the game on your solid state hard drive, and it, it might help with the, uh, with the, with the stuttering a little bit. I'm gonna actually do that at some point too this week, I'm gonna... I'm gonna move my game to uh, my solid state hard drive. I thought I thought having the game run off a different hard drive than where the uh, where the operating system was would be less taxing on everything involved. But um, yeah, I don't know. People are saying the solid state hard drives are like the best. So look at that crawler up there on my base. What a dick. I 
Got a lot of nerve, my friend. I'm gonna kill you on principle. You gotta go down, big guy. See you in hell, dinner plate. Damn, really? I actually need a shirt. This freaking axe. Alright, so... I think we'll hit these trees over here. I don't need no axe, though. I got my ch, -ch, -ch, -ch chainsaw Say goodnight, trees. I actually want to cut down more trees, but... Um, man, that thing's really loud. Um, I'm going to actually cut down more trees, but... Uh, I'm going to actually use an axe instead so I could talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Um, I can't cut too much out of this video because this can't be the video the horde comes. I have to be able to make a break between this and next video just because of my OCD. So, yes, yeah, so what do you guys think about the uh, the water treatment plant? A lot of people seem to like it. Um, I've got some news too, guys. i got to think of another build. i got to think of another build, and I'll tell you why. Um, hopefully, starting tomorrow, husband and wife uh, will be be recorded again um it's not just gonna be husband and wife though it's gonna be uh it's gonna be me autumn pam and at least one or two other people um from my team speak channel um no youtubers or anything but just you know people that i hang out with people who usually play on the patreon server and uh we're gonna get a let's play going with all of us we're gonna get a multiplayer let's play going a lot of people have been asking for multiplayer and i agree it's time for some more multiplayer so um it's gonna be pretty sweet and, and it's gonna be nice for autumn too because when it's just me and Autumn, you know, Autumn doesn't really like the combat in this game that much. She just likes to mine and just hang out and, like, you know, um, get resources and just whatever. She kind of reminds me a little bit of Pam in that way. Like, when I'm playing with Pam, Pam does the same thing. Um, she just stays inside and crafts all day. And she, and she loves it. She has a good time doing it. So, um, it works out for everybody because I prefer not to do that, have to do that stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's not get any more wood. Let's just call this one here. And, uh, because we got to save room for clay as well. Um, where do I want to plant these trees? I don't know, let's just hold on to them for now. Uh, so yeah, so that's the idea. A husband and wife is coming back, and we're also going to have more people with us. Um, I'd love to get Probert's supply, but, you know, with everything that's going on with his wife, unfortunately, um, his playtime's very limited, so. But, uh, you know. It's going to be pretty sweet, though. I'm, I'm very excited. We were supposed to start next week. I don't know if everyone's going to be there for the first few episodes, because we were supposed to start recording next week, but then Autumn, I uh, had something come up, and she's not working this Saturday, so um, I really want to get this show on the road, man. I want to get this thing started. I really miss the husband-wife Let's Play, and the... This is going to be loud. Yeah, this is going to be loud. Well, I really want to talk to you guys, so let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's go to options. Nah, I'm not changing any options, because that usually messes up the X story. Although, it's usually only video options, but... Oh, somebody said when you use the auger, tap it. Don't hold it down. You'll 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 use less gas and actually get more from it. So there you go. Pro tips from people in my stream. Look at that. So much clay. I love it. Come on, Give me more clay. Yeah, I'm really excited to play multiplayer, man. Like, there's so much. I, I've already got a build in my... I've got a couple ideas of builds I want to do as well. Although I don't know which one I'm actually going to go for. But, um, yeah, I've got a couple ideas for builds in my head. So, it's going to be pretty sweet. What do I need all this clay for? I forget. Well, I know I'm going to need a lot of it. I think you need 50 of a for each forge. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to make a bunch more forges. Um, because I've got, you know, the new mine, so... You know what? That's good enough. That's good enough. Let's head back. Got quite a bit of wood there. I should probably make some some spikes. Yeah, you know what? Let's make some... I wonder how many wooden spikes... I got to make 366 wooden spikes. Let's make 100. There we go. I needed room for the, uh, the gunpowder anyway. 
You know, we should probably get some more wood. Is this place all ready anyway? It looks like it's ready. I'm pretty sure I put down all the spikes. Yeah, yeah, this thing's all ready to go. For sure, for sure. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, so husband and wife. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, I can't wait. For those of you who are new here, uh, Autumn is my wife, and we've done a husband and wife series. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you have already seen it, or at least know about it. But, um, we do a husband and wife series, and everybody, everybody seems to, like, just love it so much. Um... So, that's going to be sweet. Uh, people have been asking me about it for a while now. And, uh, you know, Autumn's, Autumn got a new job, so she's working three jobs at once. Um, but she just got, like, some permanent position. So, she got she, be, she was able to quit one of her jobs. So, now she's going a little bit back down to, like, uh, normal. Uh, oh, good. I got a better stock. She's going a little bit back down to normal, you know, working times. So, it's going to make it a lot easier for her. Uh, you know what? We did get some points. Let's go ahead and put those in gunsmithing. Yeah. I'm trying to get gunsmithing up as much as I can. So, anyway, um, a lot of people have been asking me to build a standalone base. So, I'm thinking, husband and wife series, I don't think we're going to build a standalone base. And what I'm thinking about is, we're going to dig a hole. We're going to dig a giant hole. Like, a ginormous hole. And this probably won't happen till like, you know past day 14 or 20 or something because we're going to want some decent tools to do it but we're going to we're going to we're going to dig a giant hole oh hold on oh i hit him right in the face um we're going to dig a giant hole it's going to be i don't know what the dimensions are going to be but um it's going to be big enough to hold hold on a sec let me see what i got yep i got i got what i wanted Animal fat, animal fat, and bones. I thought I had bones on me. I guess not. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we're going to dig a big hole. I don't know what the dimensions are going to be, but it's going to be big enough to fit an entire base inside of it. Okay? Um, plus five on each side. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, and this is, this is just hypothetical, our base is going to be much bigger than this. But let's say we were going to make a nine by nine. Well, then the hole would be five times bigger on each, not five times bigger, but five more blocks on every side. Because what I want is I want to make a building inside the hole, okay, going from the bottom of the hole up and then like inside, inside the hole with like five blocks around it on every side of pit, maybe even seven, I'm not sure. And we're just going to have like a big pit for zombies to fall in. And then we're going to make the basement, which is going to be the part that's underground, uh, is going to just be a kill zone. I, I've got really good ideas, actually. It's kind of hard to explain. But it's going to be a kill zone. Just we're going to have ways you can shoot them from the top. We're going to have ways you can shoot them from the side. I'm actually thinking about having um, little holes underground that go to the other side. And then we can actually shoot them from the other side as well. Um, I've got some really good ideas for the husband and wife series. I'm very excited to start that series. And uh, we're going to be starting that tomorrow. Um, I'm looking at four single player videos a week and three husband and wife. So we'll see how that goes. I might go four and three husband and wife though, just because, um, I'm actually quite excited about the build I'm, I'm building in my mind. Um, yeah, let's drop off some stuff here because it's like, I just thought about it and I'm like, I'm like, Oh my God, that's a really good idea. That's going to be so good. there we go so yeah so as far as this world goes we've got the seven day horde and then we're gonna spend most of our time just uh getting that getting that base ready man i want i want that base ready for the next horde which will be uh 56 yeah day 56 man that will that will hopefully be at the water treatment plant We need a lot of materials, though. Uh, what are we doing here? Yeah, go like that. Throw a little bit in there. Ten minutes will be good on that one. All right, so we got some bullets here, so we're gonna need some more bullets. So let's um, let's go ahead and put these away. Oh man, we got some overflow now. Let's take this clay, or this, uh, this gravel. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some more cement here. Cement. Cement. 
Now, there's a, there's a cardinal rule in this game at this point. Um, actually, at any point in the game. It's called... The cardinal rule is ABC. Always be crafting. I don't follow it myself, but I want to. I just, I, you know, I just keep forgetting about it. Um, always be crafting. There's always something to craft. Like right now, we've got about five minutes of leeway. Um, but we're not even going to take up that five minutes. What we're going to do is we're going to grab a bunch of cement. About 500, a little more than 500. And then we're going to go to concrete. And then we're just going to go... Oops, there we go. Concrete. And then we're just going to go, bam. Always be crafting. We've got some pine seeds. I do want to start some kind of... Um, uh, some kind of uh, tree farm, but not right now. Not right now. So we need to put these somewhere safe. You're safe right there. Yeah, you're good. Alright, so what do we got here? Yeah, that's all crap. So we're going to take this. This is the sniper stock. Um, one time when I was going back and forth from the town where the water treatment plant is back to this town, in between videos, I did see an airdrop and I did loot it off camera. And that's where that sniper stock came from, if you were wondering. Um, ooh, shotgun receiver. Ooh, let's see what we can do with the shotgun. I think we might be able to make a ridiculous shotgun. We should start making slugs. Slugs are really expensive, though. Can you make them here? Yeah, you can. I mean, look at that. Like, three bullet casings, 11 gunpowder, and five... Honestly, that's not that bad. It's more the bullet casings, but I don't know. Probably should start making slugs at some point. Well, hold on a sec. Actually... Slugs don't take paper? I didn't even think about that, guys. Slugs don't take paper. I'm going to have to remember that. That's interesting. You know what? Let's make some more gunpowder as I'm thinking about it. You know what? Slugs? God, you you sneaky slugs. You're actually a lot better than I thought. Man, that's I didn't even think about that. All right, so let's take this and this. And let's make another... Uh, let's just put this stuff up here for now. Grab this, 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 and this. And let's just make as much gunpowder as we can. 1,500 sounds good to me. Alright, so you come back here, you go over there. I'll never save up that much gunpowder. Just because I use it. I use it on so many different things. Um, I'm sorry, uh, coal. I'll never use, I'll never use that much coal. Okay, then. Alright, so let's grab this stuff. And we already have about 700 sniper rounds. Maybe we should save these. Maybe we should save these for slugs. I mean... It's a tough call, guys. Well, one thing's for sure, we definitely need we have plenty of we have plenty of uh of lead, so let's go ahead and make more buckshot. Actually just leave it right there. We're gonna we're gonna put some more stuff in that forge. Alright guys, I think this is a good time to call it. Uh, I'm gonna call this one here. Next episode, day 49 horde. Uh, make sure you be there. It's going to be awesome. And uh, that's going to be it for episode 48. We'll see you next time for episode 49. Until then, take it easy.